Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and we've got a, a little one here today. We've got one here from Amacom in 172nd scale die cast. Uh, I got this with a couple of others a little while ago. It's a little bit squashed in the box. Only cost me $10, so that is a bit of a score, I suppose. Um, these are the McDonnell Douglas MD500 Defenders, which are the military uh, variant of the Civil MD500. Uh, they are an American-made a light utility helicopter that can operate in the observation role, of course, but also in the anti-armor and anti-shipping roles as well. It is still in service with a number of militaries around the world, with 471 of these aircraft built in all their variants at the time of recording this little video. Now our aircraft here is from the Taiwanese Navy and is the MD500 ASW variant which is a maritime variant which has a uh, search radar offset in the nose and uh, a towed magnetic uh, anomaly detector on the side of the helicopter as well and it can carry up to two torpedoes but it is probably no good trying to look at that through this little blister pack. So what we've got to do is uh, you get your appropriate blade that you can to get one of these open and uh, we'll cut this open. Always be careful with sharp instruments if there are small children watching and we'll pull this little, uh, little helicopter out of the packet. If we can, jeez. Oh, there we go. We'll move this out of the way and there is that awesome little uh, helicopter sitting right there. We'll pull this out. Oh, jeez. That is tiny. We'll move this out of the way as well. It does come with a little stand. Well, when I say little stand, it's actually bigger than the helicopter, which we can uh, put our chopper on and probably some rotor blades in there, I'm hoping. Now, we will check this out first before assembling it. Now, I am going to try my hardest to uh, not break anything on this. Um, this is probably the smallest um, die-cast model that I have handled so far. It does have a fair bit of detail for what it is. Uh, it does have a little bit of movement, so I think the rotor will spin, but it is very tight. Um, it is a lot of blue, <laughs> so there's no great detail on these, nothing really picked out. Um, if you wanted to, I don't know, code three it a little bit, make it a little bit better, you could pick out the torpedoes in some separate colours and just uh, highlight a few little things to make it that little bit more realistic for your display, of course. But overall, it seems pretty solid. Um, it is uh, quite small. Uh, it does fit in the palm of your hand like so. It is a little bird for sure. All right, so what we'll do is um, we'll chuck some rotor blades on this little flying egg right here and uh, make it into a proper helicopter and come back and have a look at it properly. We'll do that right now. All right, we are back. Um, I, I don't know how they actually classified this as a die cast model because... I really can't see any metal in this <laughs> at all. It's obviously must be hidden in there somewhere. But uh, to be honest, um, the rotor blades were pretty hard to put on. They are so tiny and really, really hard to actually get on. I would not dare to spin it because they don't even um, stick on very well at all. So it is pretty, uh, if you go to spin it, they'll probably um, come off. <laughs> so, But um, this is, yeah, it's pretty basic. To be honest, um, this, this is not as good as some of their other offerings that they have uh, presented. Um, there is just a lot of one colour, a lot of that blue. Um, they didn't even pick out any of the uh, torpedo detail or anything like that. Uh, and it doesn't really, nothing spins on it really well. Um, do we dare? Uh, you can see that blade already ready to drop. Um, I won't bother. But yeah, look, it's, it's one of those models uh, you'll get because you have to fill the hole or... Maybe I'd even consider just buying a uh, plastic kit and building one yourself. You'll probably get a better result than worrying about buying one of these, really. Well, this particular one anyway. But it does come with a stand if you want to use it. Um, that's the stand. It's, it's It actually comes with a little adapter plate on top because it's the model is so small it needs it to actually be able to use that stand. Let's see if we can get that on there. Whew. And that is uh, your uh, little um, McDonnell Douglas MD500 Defender <laughs> um, set up uh, on the stand. Um, it is, as I said, a, not a, a large aircraft at all. This model is tiny. Um, it's not perfect. It, it's okay. It, as I said, it's one to get if you're in, really needing to fill a, a specific hole for this particular aircraft. 
All right, I'll uh, wind up the video. I will uh, take some photos of this. You can check it out at the end of the video, of course. Um, if you enjoyed uh, this video at all or found it helpful, don't forget some of those down there. And always feel free to uh, comment below what you think about this uh, this little uh, model here. All right, and of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do so. All right, everyone, thank you so much for uh, dropping past. I'll finish by saying thank you very much for watching, and you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, everyone.